Hey everyone, Chris here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. We're traveling today in the South San Juan zone, north of Gray Rock Peak. Since the new year, this part of the San Juans has picked up about 20 inches of new snow, four inches in the, in the most recent storm. Southeast aspects near and above treeline have been sort of our bullseye aspects for recent avalanche activity. And so we're gonna do an extended column test here to evaluate uh, a buried layer of near surface facets below our January storm and see how reactive it is after our most recent load. So that extended column test failed with six taps from the wrist. It's fairly easy force to initiate failure in these weaker facets below a fairly cohesive slab. So that propagation saw test failed within the first 20 centimeters of a 100 centimeter column. Crack propagated all the way to the end in that same layer near surface facets as our extended column test did. So even though our loading recently has been incremental, these are challenging periods when traveling in the backcountry because we just need to remember that each subsequent load adds more weight in the slab on these weak layers. And so we just need to continue to be diligent when traveling in and around aspects where we're highlighting the persistent slab problem here in the San Juans.